Need something? Actually, I'm good. See you at the station. Leaving already, talk, And only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. I'll tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? Hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani-sensei are done. Another customer of mine has a job for you, Tak. Come back when you and Shintani-sensei are done. それでは出発いたします。We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, Doc? Why the long face? Hamura-san. Ah, uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. Then I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. No. Because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Kyushin puts you away for life. This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. But then, that Okubo guy, well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tak. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. 
You wanted that precious acquittal so bad, you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose, right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emi Terasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. <clears throat> I think, um, we could maybe get back to the case? Sure. Why not? You good to go? I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. Tuh. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill Kyori grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Who's the detective in charge of the case? Kuroiwa, from Organized Crime. Shintani-sensei is probably real familiar with him. I am. More so because he's one of those brutes with a badge. Pretty sure the Kyori murders are his case. I can't stand him. Guy doesn't give a rat's ass about Yakuza. You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? Apparently between 2 and 3 in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? Well, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kyori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? Who do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. 
What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep. Amor is one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. I left right after, too. A few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, and he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going then. Yagami, head over to Sonico 10 for me. See if Hammer's alibi holds water. All right. If we can prove he was there, we won't even have to go to trial. I'll give you a ring tomorrow for the report. Later. This again? Can't stay down.
Excuse me, you work here? Yeah, come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, what do you need? I'm here about a murder. The Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are... a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy, you know. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. You're back? Sorry, I don't have much more to say. I mean, look at me. When you get this old, you're gonna have trouble remembering faces, too.
You're out here pretty often, right? Did you see a Yakuza head into Sonic 10 the night of December 3rd? Um, why would I know that? You're crazy, mister. Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic 10 on the night of December 3rd. You seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost! Have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic 10 on the night of December 3rd. Nobody pays attention to me, so I'm not going to pay attention to them. Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sonic 10 on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Thanks for your help.